Welcome to the show. So glad you could join us. Welcome to the show. So glad you could join us. Welcome to the show. You pick the seats facing this way. Before we begin, we must remind you that in case of an emergency, the exits are over here. Over here? Don't look at me. The exits are over there. If, if you need the bathroom, bathroom during the show. show. They're right here near the performance, so we will hear what you're doing in there. Let's talk about cell phones. You have one. We know you do. Do you really need to be told what to do with it? Please turn off your cell phone now. We can see you, so please do it now. Not turning your cell phone off, using it during the show, or letting your ringer go off because you did not listen to this announcement and turn it off is a sense of entitlement. Entitlement is the belief that one is inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. You are not, so turn your phone off now. If you sat in a chair, that is where you belong. If you move the chair, that is where you do not belong. The actors and the crew are counting on the chair being where it belongs. If you move the chair, that is called entitlement. Entitlement is the belief that one is inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. You are not, so move the chair back. <laughs> During the performance, the cast or crew might come to you and have you stand up so that we can move your seat. Please do as they ask and do so silently. We are helping you be where you are supposed to be. And it also shows our sense of entitlement. Entitlement is the belief that one is inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. We are, so follow their instructions silently. We will demonstrate this now. One of our team will come out and hold our hand out to you. You will take it and stand up. Another crew will help you move your belongings. You will be led to a new seat. This is where we have decided you are supposed to sit. Just do as you are told and do so silently. Do so silently, without question, without debate. Seen, but not heard. Just follow the rules. That is what is expected of you. Now that all of that is out of the way, <laughs> it is time for the show. Oh, the show. Oh, the show. Tonight, be prepared to be happy, sad, angry, disgusted, surprised, bored, enthralled, emotional, nauseated, woke, indifferent, in deep thought, holding back tears, contemplating leaving, all sorts of confused, wondering why you chose what you did for dinner. In other words, you may feel an array of emotions and thoughts, and that is okay. This show was designed and written by us to express our feelings and emotions and fears and thoughts, and they will be expressed in a non-traditional way. So you may sit back and experience this journey with us. Or not, that choice is yours. We are not performing this to please you. We are performing this because it means something to us. So sit back, relax, and don't worry. We are judging you based on what you look like, what you dress like, <laughs> where you were born, your family heritage, your gender expression, how you are as a parent, how you are as a teacher, how you are as a human being, the things you say about us, the things you say about us, the things we think you say about us, how much we like you, how much we love you, how much we need you, how much we miss you, and of course, where, where you decided, decided to sit. Now please enjoy. Or don't. Trinity Academy for the Performing Arts presents an original play written and conceived by us entitled Amor Verde las Expectativas of Jack and Jill.
mom every time he gets a chance, making her feel worthless. I will not let his hateful words or this hate that I have in my heart continue because at the end, I'm only really hurting myself. I won't give up that he can change one day. and yet we are judged on both things. When you enter this room, you may or may not have a choice in where you sat. Perhaps you got here early and sat where you chose to. Perhaps you got here late and sat where you had to. No matter if you chose or not, you will be judged. Diciéndome que acerqueme el debo de poner, dominándome completamente, sentimientos atrapados en mi mente. You want to sit facing the stage because you expected to face the stage. Do you feel awkward not facing the stage? Like you don't belong here, and are you doing something wrong? Are people making assumptions about you based on what they expect from you? Elizabeth Orson of the Center for Brain Development says, when we are presented with a choice, our subconscious observes details about that choice and categorizes them based on what it knows about those details. It then draws on knowledge from our personal history, our parents, our significant others, and the media. So I silently succumb solely by your speculations, trying to treat time totally in trepidation. Only orally offering all the ideas and obfuscations, perhaps you'd be part of your preparation. 
as a child, how much choice were you given with your name, your cultural identity, or even your gender at birth? When you were growing up and discovering the world, were you supported to discover or presented with items and ideas supporting the things you did not choose? A nameplate, a flag, a cooking set, or baseball, the importance of school or family first. What was decided for you is reinforced by what is expected of you. Joseph Malarkey of the Children's Developmental Center of Bologna says, Children begin showing their gender roles between the ages of two or three. However, they begin to consider those roles as fixed around six or seven years old. This is when they have become fully socialized and will begin performing as they think their environment expects them to. When I was a child, I did what I was told. When I didn't understand, you said I would when I was old. You said I didn't have the right, a right to complain as you put these expectations deep inside my brain. Even if these facts and ideas were presented to you, did you want to fight against them? Prove that you were better than those ideas. Did you feel more accepting as you were given a gift of water or more defensive because of a stereotype given to you? I gave these facts to you to reinforce what I wanted you to believe. Now much like the things forced upon us as children, little is based in fact, as none of those people or what they said were real. So the question is, do you always drink what is given to you, or do you question it first? Déjame escoger con mi quien no me quien yo quiero. Déjame decidir, no como te senté en ese asiento. Not everything is all the way to one side or all the way to the other. 
that there is an entire spectrum of shades available between black and white. I even hear that there are 50 shades of gray. <laughs> <laughs> In life, we have tall. Or short. Weak. Or strong. Old. Or young. New. Or youth. Fat. Or skinny. Rich or poor? Irish or American? English or Spanish? There are always factors in the equation that give a barrier. I can be a boy in like girl things. Or be a girl in like man things. A girl can watch or play football. A man can like cooking or staying home and taking, the, taking care of the kids. So who decides where the line is? Who decided that gender can be only male or female? Who decided what things are for men to do and what things are for women to do? In a world where even language is conjugated in gender. Who decided what's for boys and what's for girls? Who decided these roles? And why can't we just stop following them? In life, we are taught that these are the boy things and these are the girl things. These are the boy jobs and these are the girl jobs. These are the responsibilities of a girl and these are the responsibilities of a boy. We are taught these things from our earliest memories. The things our family tells us, the toys they give us, and the stories they read us. Like Jack and Jill. <clears throat> Makes sense. I will identify. I will express. Yeah. 
Hold up. Let me get this straight. See? So he dragged me up the hill. See, so la Kalina. He falls down because he shouldn't have been up there. See, cayendo, cayendo, cayendo. I fall down because of him. See, cayendo, cayendo, cayendo. He goes home and gets bandages. See, mami cuida su hijo. And what, what was the last part again? Madre molesta le dio por cosas de desastre de Jack. Mother vexed and whip her next for causing Jack's disaster. See, so he goes up that hill, gets hurt, goes home and gets bandages, and I get whipped. Suena como una mamá latina. How is that fair? So what? So what's my role supposed to be in the family? Lo que tu madre dice que es. Whatever my mother says it is. clean and make the house beautiful. Where's my father? Out at work, he'll be home for supper. Where's my brother? Out playing in the neighborhood. Can I go out and play? Not today. Today you'll help me around the house. And for fun? I will teach you how to dress, what to wear, and how to look beautiful. And if I give you toys, there will be toys to teach you how to be a mother and more toys to teach you how to be a good wife. Thanks, mother, for teaching me how to be a good woman. Hola, madre! Tú sabes que yo necesito. ¿Por qué me pregunta? Necesito que me ayudes a cocinar y a limpiar la casa. ¿Dónde está mi papá? Ahí arriba durmiendo. Trabajó de noche y se tiene que despertar muy temprano para su otro trabajo. ¿Dónde está mi hermano? En la escuela. ¿Dónde era la escuela hoy? Hoy no. Hoy te vas a quedar a ayudarme. ¿Por qué no? Porque una mujer necesita aprender a cuidar a su familia. Cuando yo tenía tu edad, yo ayudaba a mi madre con los deberes y cuidaba a los niños. Eso es lo que tú deberías estar haciendo. Cuando todo eso esté terminado, ahí puedes ir a la escuela. Cuando vayas a la escuela, asegúrate de tener buenas, unas buenas notas. No quieres enojar a tu padre. Gracias, hermano, por enseñarme cómo ser una buena mujer. Hey, mom. Why did you wake me up this morning? I work all night, all right? Don't give me no lip. You should have gotten yourself up. Are you going to drive me to school today? In a minute. First, I have to put together your lunches and some dinner to now while I'm at work. Why didn't you clean this house up last night? I was up late doing my homework. Where's dad? Hell, if I know, he didn't stick around. Where's my brother? Upstairs sleeping, I guess. Why didn't you wake him up and start getting him ready for school instead of being down here wasting my time? Can I go out and hang out with some friends today? No, you have to come home, take care of your brother, and heat up some dinner. Then this time make sure the house is clean. I work all day. What do you do? Can you and I hang out sometime? Not this week, kiddo. I need to get some sleep and I have doubles all weekend. I'm sorry, kid. I'm trying. I really am. I expect a lot of you. I know. But I really need the help right now. This isn't easy to do all on my own. Thanks, Mom. I know you're a good woman. Hello, Mother. Well, if it isn't my beautiful princess. Come here. I promise I won't hit you. What do you need? You know what I need. Why are you asking? I need you to help me cook and clean the house. Hey, Mom, why did you wake me up this morning? I wake all night, all right? Don't give me no lip. You should have gotten yourself up. What are we going to do today? We will cook and clean to make the house beautiful. Where's my father? Upstairs sleeping. He, wor he worked overnight and has to get up in a few hours to work his other job. Are you going to drive him to school today? In a minute. First, I have to put together our lunches and some dinner tonight while I'm at work. Why didn't you clean this house up last night? Where's my brother? Out playing in the neighborhood. Where's my brother? At school. Where's my brother? Upstairs sleeping, I guess. Why didn't you wake him up and start getting him ready for school instead of being down here wasting my time? May I go to school today? Not today. Today you will help me around the house. Can I go to school today? Not today. Today you will help me around the house. Can I go to school today? No. You have to come home, take care of your brother, and heat up some dinner. Then this time make sure the house is clean. I work all day. What do you do? Why can't I go to school? I will teach you how to dress, what to wear, and how to look beautiful. And if I give you toys, there will be toys to teach you how to be a mother, and more toys to teach you how to be a good wife. Why can't I go to school? Because a woman needs to learn how to take care of her family. When I was your age, I was helping my mother with the chores and taking care of the kids. That's what you should be doing, too. When all of that is done, then you can go to school. And when you go to school, better make sure you have good grades. You don't want to make your father angry. Why can't I go to school today? 
not this week, girl. I need to get some sleep and have doubles all weekend. I'm sorry, kid. I'm trying. I really am. I expect a lot of you, I know. But I really need the help right now. This isn't easy to do all on my own. Thanks, Mother, for teaching me how to be a good woman. Gracias, Mom, for como una buena mujer. Thanks, Mom. I know you're a good woman. Good morning, Mother. Well, if it isn't my beautiful princess. Our dawn night, all right. Don't give me no lip. What are we going to do today? We will cook and clean and make the house beautiful. Tú sabes que yo necesito. ¿Por qué me preguntas? Necesito que me ayudes a cocinar y a limpiar la casa. In a minute, first I have to put together your lunches and some dinner tonight while I'm at work. Why did you clean this house out last night? Where's my father? Out at work. He'll be home for supper. Allá arriba durmiendo. Trabajo de noche y se tiene que despertar muy temprano para hacer otro trabajo. Hell if I know. He didn't stick around. Where's my brother? Out playing in the neighborhood. En la escuela. Upstairs sleeping, I guess. Why didn't you wake him up and start getting him ready for school instead of being down here wasting my time? May I go out and play? Not today. Today you'll help me around the house. Hoy no. Hoy te vas a quedar a ayudarme en la casa. No, you have to come home, take care of your brother, and heat up some dinner. Then this time make sure the house is clean. I work all day. What do you do? And you work fun? I will teach you how to dress, what to wear, and how to look beautiful. And if I give you toys, there will be toys to teach you how to be a mother, and more toys to teach you how to be a good wife. Porque una mujer necesita aprender a cuidar a su familia. Cuando yo tenía tu edad, yo ayudaba a mi madre con los deberes y a cuidar a los niños. Eso es lo que tú deberías estar haciendo. Cuando todo esto te ha terminado, ahí puedes ir a la escuela. Y cuando vayas a la escuela, asegúrate de tener buenas notas. No quieres enojar a tu padre. Not this week, kiddo. I need to get some sleep and have doubles all weekend. I'm sorry, kid. I'm trying. I really am. I expect a lot of you. I know. But I really need the help right now. This isn't easy to do all on my own. Thanks, Mom. I know you're a good woman.
blood. It's so much paint that we're supposed to clean it up because it's messy. Almost like we have to do it regularly. And then we have something super absorbent. Yeah.
party in China, school, China, life. It's hard to breathe without you. I know you always wanted me to be independent and not need anyone, but I need you and now you're not here. You're gone and I have no one to tell me it's fine. No one to help me through the time where I physically can't and without getting yelled at. I want you back. I would kill for just five minutes of me on your lap and just watching this thing up and I didn't understand anything. Why were you stripped away from me? We didn't even have a proper goodbye. You had to be another number on the chart. You did not be the life you deserve. You one day wanted to meet your grandkids and make them smile, give them the love that I would never be able, I would never be able to give them. I wish I would have spent more time with you instead of passing by you. I wish that every time you asked me to go to a baseball game, I said yes. I'm so sorry for not giving you time. I'm sorry I wasn't the best daughter. I'm scared, Mommy. Please come back. I need help. Every time I look in the mirror, I see you. I get reminded of you, and I don't know how to feel. And I forget to seeing you, and feeling you, and smelling you. I would give anything to say something I think is funny and have the turn into you lecturing me about how it's not, and that that's not how the real world is. Your voice that used to tell me to love me from when you were seeing it reads to me to everything you used to help me with. You're no longer here. When I, for me, when I'm sick, I can just take your phone and Google random things. You were my family, the only one I needed in life. You were the only thing that gave me strength when I felt like I'd lost myself. One more second with you would mean the world to me. You made me strong, lifted me up over and over. I want you to know I love you with all my heart, Mommy. I know I'm going to make you proud. Proudest mom ever. Is the 
becoming the person who she truly believes she is. You know what though? It's not about me. I have to give him a loving and accepting environment. If not, I will lose him. And I don't want to lose him. I need to stop being selfish. I'm going to make him happy. I don't need to compare her to someone else. A TV is not a good babysitter. A tablet is not a good playmate. My sons are not good people to leave my daughter alone with. I should expect more from my children than what it would take to not live in filth. I need to stop hurting my family. Stop making my wife cry. Also, starting arguments with my daughter when it thinks I say can break her over and over again. I control them. It's not healthy what I do. My words can be more powerful than what I think. I think they deserve so much more. I need to start treating them like that before I lose them and they're just done. I need to let them do what they want, even if I think it's stupid. Not shut it down every time they try. I need to change for them. I need to stop giving up. I need to fight for my life. My life is precious. Sure, I want to give up, but I only lose that holding my family together. The more I give up, the more I hurt the ones I love. I don't want to feel this pain anymore. Cancer won't make me. Cancer won't break me. Cancer won't take me. I'm sorry for not being there. I'm sorry for not being every day, every day that you're doing something successful. I'm sorry that I was not the best parent. I'm sorry that I won't, I've not seen you going and doing everything you're doing good. And I just want you to know that I love you so much, my dear daughter. I don't think I've given up credit. I don't want to see her go, so I put my attention to the others and try not to deal with it, but that's not the right thing. It's not the right thing for me to do, and it's not the right thing for her to go through just because I don't want to let go. I need to trust her. Trust us. Allow us to be trusted. And we trust you. Know that we trust you. Know that, know that we like you. Know that we love you. Know that we need you. Know that we miss you. Accept me for who I am. Accept me for the choices that I make. Accept me for who I will become. And what we will be become what I discover I am. I know you're scared. I, I am too. too. Luckily, this is a show. I think it will end. The expectation that there will be a blackout. The lights will come back up. We will bow. You might even clap. We have the expectation that you will. Hopefully, you still remember where the exits are when you leave. You'll be able to use the bathroom without everyone hearing you. You can turn your phones back on. And then take selfies with us. You will always remember this moment and this message. Trust us, love us, accept us, and you will never lose us. We are entitled to that. Entitlement is a belief that one is inherently deserving of privilege for special treatment. We are. This is our expectation of you. So in conclusion, life is not one or the other. It is a spectrum of possibilities. And nothing should hold someone back from what they can become. We can and will defy expectations that society and our families have for us while still honoring and loving our parents. Help us in this discovery, you never lose us. And never forget, we are judging you based on how you are as a parent, how you are as a teacher, how you are as a human being, the things you say to us, the things you say about us, the things we think you say about us, how much we like you, how much we love you, how much we need you, how much we miss you, and of course, where, where you decided to sit.